All right, Shalom. I want to give all praises to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, Bashem Rakakwadash. I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's hopeful elect scattered abroad, teaching his word in sincerity and truth. Shalom. All right, on the Brother Ties of War from the GMS New Jersey camp. And uh, this one here is a quick hit. This is Ephesians 1 and 17. It says that the power of our Lord, Yahweh Shai Mashiach, the Father of glory, may give unto you the spirit of wisdom and revelation and the knowledge of him. The eyes of your understanding being enlightened that ye may know what is the hope of his calling and what the riches of the glory of his inheritance in his saints. Okay, which is the saints are the Israelites. So, you know, the Lord, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, okay, uh, gives us the spirit of wisdom and revelation and the knowledge of him all right so we know who we worship okay and that's to the whole full elect it says the eyes of your understanding being enlightened you know that's a key word there being enlightened all right matter of fact bear with me all right i wanted to look that word up enlighten it says um enlighten give someone greater knowledge and understanding about a subject or situation give someone spiritual knowledge or insight okay so we have all right through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai we have been enlightened okay to have a greater knowledge and understanding about the Lord all right about our father which art in heaven Yahweh and his son Yahweh Shai it says give someone spiritual knowledge or insight so we have insight we have spiritual knowledge okay esau has spiritual knowledge on the left side and we have spiritual knowledge on the right side so you know that's the word enlightened that's a, a important word there so let's go back here to uh ephesians 1 and 18 the eyes of your understanding being enlightened all right what is our eyes our eyes are that spiritual eyes okay now we see with our bodily eyes but you know in order to have the vision you know and have un the proper understanding you have to have your spiritual eyes open all right which Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai will open your eyes to see it says the eyes of your understanding being enlightened that ye may know what is the hope of his calling and what the riches of the glory of his inheritance in the saints so we understand the hope of his calling that we hope to be set to be saved okay to see salvation that's what this thing is about okay salvation verse 19 and what is the exceeding greatness of his power to us work who believe according to the working of his mighty power so the exceeding greatness of his power okay to us work not given to the whole world and not given to all of Israel but to the hopeful elect it says who believed because it's those who truly believe according to the working of his mighty power all right and that mighty power is also his uh the comforter which is the the holy spirit the rakakwadash you know the rakakwadash is uh is the word okay it's that spirit you know the lord gives his hopeful elect to have the understanding all right to uh you know even in the future in the near future to have spiritual powers it says which he wroth in, in Yahweh Shai when he raised him from the dead and set him at his own right hand in the heavenly places so Yahweh Shai our Lord all right he sits now next to the father in the in the fourth dimension it says far above all principality and power and might and dominion and every name that is named not only in this world but also in that which is to come so we know what principality is those are spirits all right i wanted to look that word principality up so principality let's get more understanding okay principality strong's g 746 arche Arche. All right, 
So principality, it says beginning, origin, the person or thing that commerce, commerces, the first person or thing in a series, the leader. It says that by which anything begins to be the origin, the act of cause, the extremity of a thing, of the corners of a cell, the first person, principality, rule, mag magistracy of angels and demons. All right, so this word principality, we know that it can mean angels and demons, but it can also be referred to the first, right, the beginning. All right. Um, it says the, the first place, principality, rule, mag magistracy. I'm saying that right. It says first, corner, principality, beginning. Um, Strong's definition. It says in various applications of order, time, place, of or rank, beginning, corner, at the first, first estate. So, you know, there it is, you know. So let's just go back here and read that again. Ephesians 1 and 21, far above all principality and power and might and dominion in every name that is named, not only in this world, but also in that which is to come. All right, so principality, as we read, for anything that comes first, the Lord is before it, all right, and even over demons and angels, so far above all principality, all right, meaning orders, power, you know, Esau is a power today on the earth, the Most High sent Yahweh Shai to be before Esau, to have power over Esau, even dealing with uh, angels and demons, you know, Esau worshipped uh, Satan, he worshipped demons, Yahweh Shai is a power over demons. Yahweh Shai is over Satan. So the Lord, our Lord Yahweh Shai is above all spirits, okay, and power and might and dominion and every name that is named. And that's why uh, I believe the scriptures say um, bringing into obedience. Uh, Salakia, let me pull it up. All right, bear with me. Let's go into uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 10 and verse 5. Well, you know, I'll read it through. I'll start from 1. All right. But the point is in verse 5. It says uh, 2 Corinthians 10 and 1. Now I, Paul, myself, beseech you by the meekness and gentleness of Amashiach, Yahweh Shai, who in presence and base among you, but being absent and bold and bold towards you. But I beseech you that I may not be bold when I am present with that confidence, wherewith I think to be bold against some which think of us as if we walked according to the flesh. All right. So remember um, what we read here back in Ephesians, the first chapter, when it talks about being enlightened. It says, verse 18, the eyes of your understanding being enlightened, the word enlighten up. And that's talking about what in enlightened to a higher understanding of these scriptures and knowing who our true and living power is and that eyes represents the spiritual eyes not your bodily eyes but anyway um this is second corinthians 10 and um two but i beseech you that i may not be bold when i am present with that confidence wherewith i think to be bold against some which think of us as if we walked according to the flesh for though we walk in the flesh we do not war after the flesh for the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through the Most High to pulling down of strongholds, casting down imaginations and every high thing. Here we go. Casting down imaginations and every high thing that exhorteth itself against the knowledge of Yahweh and bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Yahweh Shai Mashiach. All right. So every philosophy uh, false philosophy or philosophy or religion is all brought down into captivity it says every thought to the to the obedience okay of Yahweh Shai because no one is uh, above Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai okay so that was the point that I wanted to bring up but let's get back to the verse or far above all principality and power and might and dominion and every name that is named not only in this world, but also in that which is to come. All right. So our power is the power over everything in this world and also the world that's about to come. 
fallen away of Esau, which Jacob is up next that followed. Now, verse 22, and have put all things under his feet and gave him to be the head over all things to the church. You see that? This is why we worship Yahweh Shai. This is why you have to believe in Yahweh Shai. Verse 23, which is his body, the fullness of him that filleth all in, in all. All right. So, you know, like I said, this was a quick hit. Uh, I don't have a title yet for the lesson, but, um, you know, maybe the title could be being enlightened. Eyes of your understanding being enlightened. You know, you must be enlightened. Matter of fact, enlighten again, quick Google search. It says, give someone greater knowledge and understanding about a subject or, or situation. All right. It says, give someone spiritual knowledge or insight. Shed light on. So the Lord is shedding his, his light upon us. You know, we're the light of the world. That's, um, let me uh, get that real quick. First Thessalonians. Chapter 5. It says, uh, right, this is 1 Thessalonians chapter four, uh, 5, verse 4. It says, but ye brethren are not in darkness, that that day shall overtake you as a thief. Ye are all children of the light, of light, and the children of the day. We are not of the night, nor of darkness. Therefore, let us not sleep as do others, but let us watch and be sober. All right, so you see why it's important to be enlightened to this truth all right let me just read it again the definition it says shed light on so the lord yahweh bashim yahweh shai our father and our savior yahweh shai have shed their light upon the hopeful elect let's give someone spiritual knowledge or insight yahweh shai have given us that spiritual knowledge and insight all right for what's to come the prophecies the things we should look for matter of fact uh Matter of fact, I'm going to read this real quick. Um, uh, 1 Thessalonians 5 and 1. But of the times and the seasons, brethren, ye have no need that I write unto you. For yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. All right. So the Lord's elect know that Yahweh Shai cometh as a thief in the night. That it says, for when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them as travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. But ye, brethren, are not in darkness, that that day shall overtake you as a thief. Um, you know, and that's basically the point. That's basically the point. You know, I'm going to keep it short. Lord willing, I hope this lesson was edifying. All right. Uh, the, the point of this lesson is that you be enlightened. All right. The eyes of your understanding being enlightened. Being enlightened to this knowledge, to this wisdom. Okay, for, for thou stability of thy times, enlighten into who you worship, all right, which is the true and living power, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, giving all honor and glory to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, double honors to our apostles and elders here at Great Millstone for giving us this word and uh, for them putting up their lives, you know, to sacrifice, you know, for us young brothers in this truth, you know, to have this word, the breakdowns. And, the, and that eye, you know, that spiritual eye of understanding. So with that, I hope you were edified. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim Rakakwadash. I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to the Lord's hopeful elect. Shalom.